what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to our 12 days of christmas series i can't believe i'm saying that Oh my gosh it's officially december guys and we have 12 days until christmas so i wanted to challenge myself to be able to film 12 days leading up to christmas like this is this is like a cheat code to vlogmas because i already know like i don't think i could commit to vlogmas like i would love to be that girl but like vlogmas like all 25 days um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Izzy. I look really different than how I usually look because I have a U-part wig on that I will show you guys a little bit later and I'll also show you guys where I got the inspo from. It was on TikTok and I'll like insert the video and all that stuff and make sure to link the wig, but we'll get to that later. I just got off work. I had a long day, y'all. I am currently a PRN, physical therapist. If you've been watching my videos, you know. Um, it's 6 p.m. right now. It's actually 6.10 and I'm still 20 plus minutes away from home. So I ended up going to my first job this morning and then I traveled to, uh, that was in Northwest. And then my second job is in Northeast. So they're the same company, but just different locations. So I've just been running around all day. When I get home, Brad and I are going to head to a coffee shop to get some work done. So I'll see y'all when I get home. And yeah, I'm just so excited. 12 days till Christmas, guys. Let's do it. I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoy this little series. See you guys when I get home. Hey y'all, so I'm back home and I just wanted to show you guys this hair a little bit more in depth. Um, so like I said in the car, it's a U-part wig and I got this off of Amazon and I did the crochet method, which I was seeing all over TikTok and I was like, I have to try this method because I've never seen anything like it. So I want to give you guys a closer look at the hairline, like the part. As you can see, this is my part and my hair is right here. And if you look close enough, you can kind of tell but it honestly blends so naturally. And I'll show you the method on the screen if I can find the video, I'll put it right here. But um, basically what you do is you put the U-part wig on. So I have cornrows under this. You put the U-part wig on and then you just crochet. So wig hair like into your braid and then loop it over. And then you kind of like spray it down, mousse it down. And this is the result you guys like. And blown away and this wig is so beautiful it's human hair and um, i got it off amazon so i'll link it below but yeah right now it's really frizzy because i had it in a bun all day and it just like got dry but i just want to show you guys the transformation when i do start to spray it i apologize for the lighting if it's a little um dim in here or yellow but I am kind of rushing because we're supposed to go to the coffee shop, but look how beautiful and natural this looks. Like, I just love the frizziness, to be honest, because my hair is actually pretty, like, coarse and dense. And so this just gives me, I feel like it just looks more natural than it being, like, super loose and flat. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to spray the rest of this so I look presentable. And um, we're gonna head to one of my favorite coffee shops. So I'll check in with y'all when we get there because I need to do this hair. We're doing our finances today. We are. Brad's a finance man. I wouldn't say all that. Yeah, he is. I have no idea what's happening. I just tell him how much I make. Does all the numbers. But yeah, we made it to what's this place called? Um, Three, Three whistles. whistles, and it's in Arlington. And I end up getting yeah. like a Jamaican beef patty and a caramel latte. Let's taste test. This is actually the only coffee shop that's open like until ten in our area. So if you need a late night coffee shop, it's your spot. What'd you get, babe? 
Uh, the Chilean beef empanada. The empanadas here are a little bit interesting. This has a raisins in it. I don't know if he knows, but... I saw it. I just... That was like the best thing I saw, so... <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get some financial things done. Anything that is colored? Looks like it's colored, but it's not supposed to be. Oh, it is white. Maybe it's just an illusion. So the way it's set up is anything that's in white space is meant to be filled out, and anything that's like colored is supposed to be populated. Or you're not supposed to. You're edit. supposed to fill it in. Oh, no, populated any, from the color. Yeah, or it, you're not supposed to edit it. Okay. Frugalista. Frugalista. Yeah. It's a really nice one. It's really nice. You should go. I usually like to go to Big Thrifty and Annandale. I don't think so. No, I haven't actually. I think actually I just saw a post on that the other day. Oh, we should go there because I'm going on. Be Thrifty? Be Thrifty. But I need you to gatekeep it, okay? Okay. Well, we'll check that out. $50 jeans are not $40 when they could have been $7. Yeah, 100%. We we appreciate everything. Yeah, this is really nice. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. She's cool. Productive coffee shop date. Kind of. Yeah, it was. It's freezing. Yeah. Wow, what's the temperature out here? Like. 20s or 30s? I don't even know, but it is pretty cold. I'm not gonna lie. And my leggings are still kind of wet because I spilled coffee all over me. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? How do I manage to do this stuff? But yeah, the lighting's horrible in here, so I'll just. We'll try to wake out. Alright guys, we're back home and we set a little Christmas vibe in the apartment because I honestly feel like the Christmas spirit is all inside. You know what I mean? Like, you have to do the little things to make you feel like you're in the Christmas spirit because if not, it'll just be like another day. And I like to feel like it's Christmas all of December and part of November. <laughs> Anytime after Thanksgiving, it's Christmas to me. So, I wanted to unbox one of our little registry gifts that we got. Um, Bradley's mom actually, my mother-in-law actually got this for us. So I'm really excited about it. And it's perfect for the holiday season because of something Brad wants to do. You could probably put two and two together. So, Let's see what's inside. This is a, such a huge box. I might actually need your help taking this out. I can't 
can't believe she got this girl. Ava loves boxes because she likes to tear them up. So if you hear her crying, it's because she wants to like tear this up right now. Yeah. I taught her that, unfortunately. Babe. Can you help me? You're a strong woman. I'm angry now. You're a strong man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's another box inside a box, but. Mm -hmm. We got the kitchen aid mixer! Just gonna use scissors. I can find some way to cut it. There we go. Another box that I need to figure out how to get this out of. And that's a tippet and pull it out. This thing is massive. We got the black one, which is really hard to find because they had these at Costco, but they were all red. So we got a KitchenAid mixer. I'm so excited. Um, we have absolutely no space for this. Yeah, so Bradley is planning on possibly making some macaroons for Christmas. So he got the professional grade mixer. And this thing is... I don't even know how much. I think this thing is like $300 or more. So thank you, mother-in-law, you're the best. We really appreciate this. Um, we're going for like a black um, appliances kind of look in the kitchen. So we got the toaster oven that was black. We got the soda stream that was black. We got like our um, cooking utensils and stuff that's black. So we're just trying to go with the black vibes. We really wish we could leave this one like on the counter because it just looks so nice but we're gonna have to figure out where to put this we do have an old one that was um a different brand i don't remember the brand why can't i think of it it's fine um yeah we had like an old mixer that was like this turquoise color and i don't think it worked as well as like the kitchen aid and we wanted this one, but we ended up getting our old one at Macy's for like one of those like Macy's outlet places for like the low. But we've always been eyeing this one. And I'm excited because I kind of want to get in like my baking bag, especially if we have like a little Christmas party. Maybe I can make some cookies or something. So I already do have like little Christmas um, cookie stencil things. So. So, gotta figure out where to put this. We might actually just wait to actually, I don't know, this might end up just like in and out of the box. Like we're gonna use it and then just put it back in the box because I don't know where we're gonna put it. Anyways, y'all, those are all the updates so far that I have. I mean, there's a lot of other things that I would love to show you guys that we got from the registry, etc. But like, it's 10 o'clock right now and um, <laughs> my coworker called me on my way home to let me know that I have like six evals on my schedule tomorrow, as well as some treatments. So it's gonna be a full day, but I don't wanna leave any later than 3 p.m. So I'm gonna try to get to work around seven. Yeah, so that'll be like a full day, full eight hour day. 
and excuse me my other job also needed my help for tomorrow but I'd rather just stay in one place than travel back and forth so I'm just gonna do the full day at the Northeast location and call it a day so yeah, guys, I'm gonna start getting ready for bed. I gotta make my overnight oats, do my skincare, um, take a shower, and get some sleep because tomorrow should be interesting. But yeah, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. This concludes day one of the 12 days of Christmas, guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow because tomorrow's day two of the 12 days of Christmas. I'm so excited. Okay, I'll see you guys then. Bye.